what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The Dallas Cowboys continue to stand for the national anthem, and defensive lineman David Irvin continue to raise a fist at the conclusion of the national anthem. In other words, it was business as usual. Now the Dallas Cowboys remain only one of six teams to not have a single player kneel during the playing of the national anthem. In other words, they still got a bunch of modern day slaves on their team. Some people say, well, I would stand for the money too. What else would you do for the money? You see, some people just ain't got no damn principles. Ain't got no heart. Some people do anything for money. What will you not do for money? Is there anything you wouldn't do for money? I mean, if the price was right, is there anything you would not do for money? I can guarantee you, I don't give a damn how much money somebody was paying me. Once somebody let me know, and I got proof that that national anthem was written by a slave owner, even if the words didn't include language about killing black people, I wouldn't stand for that shit. In fact, I haven't stood for the national anthem since I was in high school. I've been up on the national anthem. I always sit down on it. I never stand for that shit. Ain't got nothing to do with disrespecting soldiers. And fuck the flag. The flag ain't nothing but a piece of cloth, so fuck the flag. I'm talking about our military vets. Ain't got nothing to do with disrespecting military vets. Everybody appreciate military vets, okay? Everybody appreciate the soldiers. Everybody appreciate our people that work in the military. We got that. So when they start talking about the flag and stuff like that, man, they don't give a damn about the flag. They say uh, disrespecting the flag also means that you shouldn't put flags on clothes, on, on articles of clothing. You're not supposed to make posters of flags. You're not supposed to have buttons and keychains and all this type of stuff. But people put all kinds of shit on flags and they disrespect the flag every day. See, it's really not about the flag once again. It's about the fact that black people are protesting injustice in America. And you got a certain segment of society that just don't like that part. That's what they don't like. If he, if Colin Kaepernick said, would have said, you know what? I'm taking a knee for the slain soldiers during the national anthem, no problem. If he would have said, I'm taking a knee for police officers, wouldn't have been a problem. He still had his job. But because he said, I'm taking a knee for black folks, the injustice that has been placed on black folks in America, that's the problem and that's what they're mad at. So fuck everybody who don't like the fact that people are taking a knee for uh, during the national anthem because you're saying fuck me you're saying you don't care about my pain my struggle and all of these innocent black people that's been killed so fuck you i don't care that you're upset stop acting like you care about the flag you don't care about the flag you don't care about the national anthem half of you don't even know the words to the national anthem the racist white supremacist donald trump disrespects the flag and the Constitution every day. He disrespects the oath that he took to uphold the Constitution every single day that he's in office. For that alone, 
His ass should be impeached. And Jerry Jones, let's not talk about his old crooked ass. He's another good old boy. He don't care nothing about the flag either. All he cares about is money and Jerry Jones. He's always been that person. He'll die that way. I thought for a second that maybe, just maybe, he'd go out with some class because you know he ain't got that much longer. Guess I was wrong. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.